To balance this equation, P4S10 plus H2O, let's count the atoms up on each side. Four phosphorus atoms, 10 sulfurs, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. On the product side, the phosphorus, we have one of those, sulfur, just one, hydrogens, we have three, plus the two hydrogens here in the H2S. So we have five of those, four oxygen atoms. I like to leave the hydrogens and oxygens to last when I balance equations, so let's just start with the phosphorus. If I put a four in front of the H3PO4, I could update my hydrogens here. So I have three times four is 12, plus these two here. So now I have 14 hydrogens, one times four, that gives me four, so we've balanced the phosphorus atoms. And then just the one sulfur, four times four, 16 oxygen atoms. Let's do the sulfur now. We have 10 here and just one here. We'll put a 10 in front of the H2S. So let's update our hydrogens again. We have four times three, so we have 12 of those plus 10 times two, that's 20. So now we have 32 hydrogen atoms, one times 10 for the sulfur. So we've balanced the sulfur. Now we just need to figure out the hydrogen and the oxygen. So two times something will give me 32, two times 16. So two times 16, that'll give me 32. That'll balance the hydrogens. One here times the 16, that'll give me 16. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So I think the trick for this one is leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last. And when you're counting up the hydrogens here, be careful because you have hydrogens in the H3PO4 and in the H2S. So if you don't count these, that's a big problem. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P4S10 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.